Welcome back to Sidelines TV. I'm here today in beautiful Wellington, Florida at the St. George's Polo Club um, with Kirsten Braden. Kirsten, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Robert? Great, thanks. Kirsten is the president of Polo Concierge in Palm Beach, and there's a benefit match today. Maybe you can describe it a little better than I. Of course I can, Robert. What we've done today, it's the actual St. George's Polo Club Ladies Charity Christmas Invitational. And what we've done is we've taken some seasoned polo players that play tournament polo and we match them on the same team with rookies so it's really women mentoring women and we have women from the age of 10 to 65 competing so it really is a fabulous Christmas season of goodwill women mentoring women and the charity is the ride to read program for polo girls and so we're actually uh, creating a benefit to help illiterate women in the US read. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing. It for me was great today to see so many women that are such great players and such up and coming players. And uh, even to have such a high goal American player like Julio Arellano and his daughter out here just scoring like mad, it was great. Well, we're really lucky in Wellington because it really is obviously the winter equestrian capital of the world. And so we have all these top uh, polo player professionals and their families. And so really it's perfect for to create a uh, scenario where we have women and men who are can access this great talent pool and uh, be introduced to polo in a safe, welcoming, fun environment. And that's really what Polo Concierge Palm Beach is all about. Yeah, actually, that's what I was going to say is that you have really opened a portal for people from all over the world that really, I mean, this is pretty much a bubble that's hard to pierce. And here you've done that now, and it was really a much needed thing. Well, thank you, Robert. I really appreciate that. And really, it uh, came out of my own passion for polo. And, uh, you know, I, I, I started somewhere, and I realized that wouldn't it be nice to have a place that you could just pick up the phone and call someone and you absolutely knew you'd be put on a safe horse and it would be a good quality situation and an experience that you could take home with you and say, wow, I play polo in Palm Beach. No matter what your experience is, of course we do play with the best professionals in the world, but you don't have to have even played polo before to come and join us and have some fun. That's great, well thanks so much. Thank you. Okay. And we're here now with Laura Wilson. Um, you may remember Laura from some arena polo we did last year and then beach polo in Miami. And now we're here on a grass field. Laura, how do you find the difference in all those things? Um, this field is very good for the outdoor play. Getting It's a very great size field for educational polo, coaching polo. Get, uh, get someone out here. They can hear you on the half size field. And it really um, transition, uh, transitioning from the arena to the grass this is a perfect field to do it on because you can coach, because they can hear you, because you get to use the outdoor ball. It really is a great facility to move forward onto your polo career. Yeah, you had a really good game today. Uh, it seemed like all your horses were on fire. Uh, how, how did <laughs> <Yeah>. it feel, right? <laughs> they were, yeah, they were absolutely fantastic. And the, you know what's the best part about this field? It holds up. Like we were, we got some flying plays there. I mean, we were ripping up and down the field at some point. And I mean. I know, it perfect. looks like there's no need for a divot stump. Yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we'll have one so anyway. So what are you so doing for the rest of the season since it's just beginning? Um, well, that's a good question. Probably do a lot of ladies tournaments, some arena polo, hopefully give a lot of lessons, hopefully sell some horses, and uh, continue to run coaching checkers out of St. George's Polo. Great. If anybody wants to contact Laura, just send me an email at Sidelines. Laura, thanks so much. Thank you so much. It was a great day today, by the yeah, way. Great beautiful turnout. Beautiful weather. Okay, I'm still here today at the St. George's Polo Club in Wellington, Florida, and I'm with the MVP winner of today's tournament, and it is Hope Ariano. Hope, how are you? Good, how are you? Great. Hope is 10 years old. I think it helps to come from a long family of excellent polo players, but still to be 10 years old and the MVP of the game, how did it feel? It felt really good, and I was really happy that my family came. I know, and it was awesome just watching you ride around circles around everyone and just score like mad. <laughs> Thank you. So what are your goals in polo when you grow up? Um, I want to be the highest I can, and I'm going to try really hard too. So. And at 10 years old, what do you do for fun? Uh, stick and ball. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I think that's the way you do it. Well, congratulations so much, Hope. Thank you. Great. For Sidelines TV, I'm Rob Jordan.